Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Vansika Dutta and this is Sneha. Today we are going to talk about an important issue during PhD. So if you want to do your PhD in the near future, then this video is for you. So as we all know, scholarship play a crucial role for the PhD scholars, uh, be it financial burdens or recognition of academic excellence, everything. So let's just explore the various opportunities. PhD at IIT KGP. So basically we will try to cover all the categories of this fellowship. Actually there are four ways where you can avail step in for PhD. So let's explore them all. Also in this video we will tell you about the new rules, uh, compulsory semester registration. Also, there is one rule that we have to mark the attendance and scholarship will be based on that attendance and there have been increase, recent increase in the scholarships. So, yeah, let's see all the categories. So without the further ado, let's get started. One of the main form of financial support for research scholar is through institute stipend, like you are the one. Yes, actually, since you know I am doing joint MSc PhD, you can apply for joint MSc PhD or joint MTech PhD or you can with a valid gate or net score you can join this program. In this institute fellow, you will get a scholarship for five years. Okay. And after that, for the sixth year, you can extend it by giving one extension seminar. But uh, you know, you will get just the 50% of the scholarship, whatever you are getting in the initial five years. But uh, since the increase have been started for the scholarships, it's increased recently in this year itself, I think. So, uh, but that extended scholarship has remained the same for now. In the near future, I hope that it will increase. It will certainly increase. So that's all. You will get five year full funding and then six year half funding. Significant way from where you can get the financial freedom, financial funding is from the funding agencies, for example, CSIR, UGC, IC, AR, IC, MR, DBT, DST, yeah. and Inspire, which yeah. is very important. And whoever is getting this scholarship cannot avail for institute fellowship. Yeah. Actually, these scholarships uh, stand like a hallmark for India. These not only provide the financial assistance, but a JRF position, you know, a recognition, and they show your academic progress. And among this, PMRF is the best and I will request you to make separate video for that. Okay, sure. This is for the people who are doing uh, like jobs for these. There is actually no provision of any financial assistance for them from institute side. However, they have to stay for minimum one year at the campus means it is the minimum residential requirement for coursework and after that they can do PhD while doing any jobs for financial balance. The final way is to get a project and a sponsored project for this and after that through the project get into the PhD. The remaining period uh, must be at least two years for this then only you can shift your project to PhD admission and also you can take direct admission if you are having a BTEC degree from any IITs or even the dual degree students can also get the direct admission and they will be treated as institute fellow and they will get the institute funding as the institute fellow like in the first case in this video we tried to comprehend all the type of scholarship which you can avail for in the IITs and I hope you enjoyed this video Please like, share and subscribe. And if you have any query, please comment down below. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye. Bye. -bye.